Uh oh, what did I just get rid of? Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Okay, we have a new quest, Whisper in the Shadows. Okay, folks are getting big, it seems. Look five, discard any of them, grant one draw. Realizing that this one is kind of expensive, I did say I wanted to use these two together. Hey, Josh. This guy's doing a lot of stuff. Do we try and burn him down, or do we try and get rid of the hogs? I'm tempted to try and get rid of the hogs. Okay, so nine, nine, nine. So that hit three times. I don't think that's what I expected. We can get rid of Elemental Ward and the Fire Blast, because we know we have a better one. We did good damage there, though, for sure. Everybody gets some defense. I get some defense. And then I have one left, so I will just hack you like that. And then... She's our squishiest, so we'll do that. Okay. Random heroes. Okay. Well, that, that worked out all right. Okay, that, that worked out quite all right, I feel like. So we will unstable power despite the, uh, despite that. So now we are more powerful and we are insulated. We can do the mana gem. This only does three. We'll hit you with the chill. Yeah, so I, I like picking up these poison darts. They're just free actions. That seems good. We could toss a little bit of... I'll hit you with that. We don't really need to do any healing. So I think at this point, we're focused on this back guy. Stack, stack up some for later. Okay, this is our improved rupture, which is excellent. Make sure we do our draw first. Okay, and then we we run out of we run out of steam a little on our uh, on our ranger. He just got very, very buffed. That might be, that might be our signal to uh, start working on him. They're no longer wet. The wet debuff does not last very long, it seems. So, so what exactly is this doing for us? This is giving us more energy. So it grants two energy. So I mean, I guess I could use it here. So it's a way for me to transfer energy to another hero and also give them more draw, it seems. Okay, good stuff. Oh, so those go away at the... Okay, so I need to pay attention to round end because those do not hang around for very long. These poison darts are, are seeming pretty pretty solid. So, okay, so this didn't do what I thought it did. Plus one damage taken, prevents stealth. So maybe it does. So this says it's doing 15. But something else caused it to do 14, maybe? Unclear. Okay. But we'll do that. More cards getting unlocked. You love to see it. Okay, so now we should be looking around. So Holy Ripple and Rend are only two rare. Oh, and Nightmare. I kind of like the look of Nightmare. 
How about Holy Ripple? So Sanctify, the attacker heals one HP per, per charge. That's an interesting like passive healing option. Then I'm gonna skip these and I don't think I want another Rend or Headbutt, so we'll do that. Okay, so we have Edge of the Forest or this. We have this rare event up here. So we get one, two, if we go down, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so yeah, so we're not we're not losing anything by going up here, and we do have a character event up here. The Fang Gates. You're entering the northern part of the forest. The Fang Gates guarding the bandit camp stand before you, and the path ahead will not be easy. Now is the perfect time to rest and prepare for the battle ahead. Remember that you don't have much time to spare, so you can only do one activity before continuing. So we have rest for 30% HP. We're full health. Uh, being near a bandit camp, you can surely find some gold or shards, 71%. Uh, I found a forest trail. Maybe it can lead us directly into the bandit camp, 30%. Or I can take care of an injury and heal us, 28%. Let's just let's just do this one, 71%. We get something like that. Shadow Bolt ruins us. But we get 400, 240 of that anyways. All right, up we go. The Apprentice Craftsman. Hiding behind a tree, you find a gnome fiddling with a couple gadgets. You approach him and ask him what he is doing. Hi. I'm Timothy. I'm waiting for my master, but it's been several days since he left me here, and I'm beginning to think he's abandoned me. I know I'm not a good apprentice, and my inventions tend to backfire, but I'd like him to come back. Please, if you see him, tell him I'm going to back to the workshop. By the way, if you want, I can keep any. you can keep any of my inventions. Uh, except, yeah, I'll, I'll send the message. That's fine. Okay, we get whatever these points are. After hearing you, the gnome gathers his things and leaves, leaving behind many of his gadgets. You search through them to see if you find anything you can use. We get 32 of those thingies. Okay, so these are going to have potential downsides, it looks like. So who still has a ring slot? It looks like you have a ring slot. So he can give you 6 HP or 4% resistance. I'll give you that. Then everybody has a weapon. Uh, you don't have, or you have a ring slot. You don't have a potion. Uh, poison darts, I'm not that into. Razor. Uh, damage plus one when you play a melee attack suffer. Not, not really what I'm into. Apply 2C to all monsters. Spyglass seems very good. Let's grab that. Plus one frost damage. When you play a spell, suffer one chill yourself. That seems risky. I guess I'll grab the dart pouch here. What's this thing? 6% resistance? Well, maybe with 6% resistance, we can afford to have some chill. Sure, let's go cooling servo. And then I think we're all good on this side of things. We could replace the dart pouch with a dart pouch. We could also replace the dart pouch with increased damage. We don't do melee attacks very much here, but it, is, it does only buff melee attacks. Okay. Do I have to take something? I don't see like a continue. I guess I can do that. Continue. Okay. That's the continue button. Ambiguous. All right. Bandit camp. Fresh meat. When entering the bandit camp, you see a really big werewolf yelling and giving orders to other werewolves. He notices your presence and looks at you with a mocking face. That's Yager, the butcher of Senthia. He has been terrorizing the Senthia, Senthia forest for a long time. It's time to put a stop to Yager and disperse the bandits once and for all. Running away now would only make things worse. So we have 13% uh, combat. We have your eyes have already met. There is much, not much more to say. Uh, we can run, which we're not going to do. Or I know him. He served under me in the Wolf Wars. Maybe I can reason with him. We'll try it. 
Yager, well, well, well. If it isn't Captain Magnus in the flesh, do you think your fancy words would change me? I see you're still as foolish as ever. You don't seem to remember who gave you that scar. This time I will kill you and take the Wolf Slayer with me. Fortunately, you had time to prepare for combat while he spoke. Okay, so it still has a, a, a net positive. Okay, what is this guy doing? So he is summoning a shaman and healing for 16, and he is doing that, and we don't see what the third thing that he's doing is. All right, well, is what it is. Jogging or yogging? It might be a soft J. Interesting. So two, do we do two aim shots here? Or do we, I think we do an aim shot and a slice and we save one for next time. This is doing 12. Choose a card to discard. We we don't know what his last attack is, so maybe I'll keep those just in case he's going to do like a big attack up front here. So far, I think we're we're going okay here. That's a little spooky, though. Hmm. I kind of feel like we need to we need to keep burning on this guy. But maybe that's incorrect. I know that that the back is going to get hit because we got one of these guys. I, d I don't know if we have what it takes to like burn through this with the shaman here. So I'm going to I'm going to start putting in some damage on the shaman, I think. I'm worried it's going to be healing, like, a lot, a lot. Hmm. This is front... This is front only. Which is not great. Um, we have four actions, so Hunter's Mark plus Rapid could be good, but let's... Let's set up a better... A better turn here for her. I don't think we're going to be able to afford Shadow Bolt. Nightmare, maybe, but if we're doing Nightmare, not Frostbolt. Hey, Artie, welcome back. Let's see. So we're going to do... We're going to do that. Hmm. This is going to be a tough fight, I think. I suspect this may be a tough fight. I'm worried about this shaman. You can only hit the front monster with that. That feels pretty bad. I guess we go for it, though. Because we get the defend out of it. We know we're going to need a bit more of that. Feeling slightly nervous here. You have five right now. Hey, Rusty. Yeah, so far so good. I'm I'm digging it. Now this this is gain at the start of the turn. So maybe we kinda wanna hustle up here on the shaman. Probably should have done cold spark earlier. Yeah, now it's basically garbage, but yeah, we should have used Cold Spark at the beginning of the turn. Chain 2. What the heck does Chain 2 do? Why am I not getting a tooltip? <laughs> there we go. Repeat this card effect uh, to the target next to it X times. Each time damage and healing done is less. Okay. So we at least get some sanctifies out. 
Uh, I think... I think it's... It's useful to know what this guy is going to do. Hmm. Owie. Jeez. A lot of action here. A lot of action. Doesn't look like he's re-summoning. So maybe we can, uh... Maybe we can make something work. I'm, I'm just trying to get the numbers advantage back in our favor right now. We need some we need some heals here. We we will get our turn before this guy gets to go again, so let's see. What's what's the play? I think we start out with the charge battery. We get to we get to play our whole hand here, so. Yeah, yeah, Artie, it's not quite that simple, but yes. That's the, that's the general, the general gist of things. Ooh, I wish I had found more healing than that. Let's see, what do you have? You have one action left. Okay, so we can do healing rain regardless. And then we can hit you like that, and we might as well foresight you. We're gonna be... We're gonna be a little short on on health. Is my uh, is my feel fear here? Oh, we're not we're not gaining a lot of energy right now. Smell blood, gain five power. Then you're gonna hit the lowest HP hero for thirty one plus six, and you're gonna summon something. That's not great. I kind of was hoping that we were done with summoning. Hmm. Lowest HP hero is you, so we'll keep stacking that up. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. That's that's spooky right there. Um Gonna send that over that way. Hmm. Do as much as I can to defend her up. Okay, it does look like we got some heals. That's going to be important. Oh, she's still she's still alive. A little worried about this, what this cutthroat is about to do, but I think we need to keep working on this guy. Get ready for pain. Okay, he's stalking. Interesting. So, he is stealth. Cannot be targeted directly. Does that mean the fast strike goes past him? That would kind of be ideal. Let's see who this hits. Okay, it does hit you. That's good. If I knew I was going to be headbutting first, I probably should have done this differently. But. I don't like that this guy's going again. Is he. I'm worried about our tank now. Yep. Those are big numbers. Oh. Also, 10 bleed is spooky. How much do you have? You have three. We could do 26 right up. Or we can put a whole bunch of these on you. I think we do this. We're almost there with this guy. Okay, he is dead. 
Uh, now, if this guy ends up killing us, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a shame. I'm sad. I'm saddened by our inability to defend ourselves more. Let's we'll get rid of the bleeds there. Yeah, we can't do much more. I could draw one more card, but then we have no no anything. So that's a waste, but I'll do it anyways. Okay. Looks like we're surviving. Um, Deflect is a really good card. I am realizing now. So this is nine, this is nine times three, I didn't realize. But if I use Hunter's Mark, does it become, oh, I can't, then I can't use it, okay. Now this guy demonstrated that he could hit basically anywhere. So I think we, I think we just ice him, even though that means we're gonna be a little low on HP later. Yeah, Deflect seems forever good. Okay, oh, so we killed Yogger, and uh, that was Achievement Get. Interesting. Sharpening Knife. So this is a this is a blue level card that is already upgraded. Yeah, that was a very tough fight, and I think it's right before another tough fight, which is making me a little nervous. Anthem of Hope. Grant three courage. And everybody... So this is, this is three courage and everyone gets to draw a card? That seems pretty good. Same with chain lightning. This looks pretty good. And... Blood for blood. Deal four, apply X. X equals your bleed. So the more we're bleeding, the worse. Better to save energy. That makes sense, Stu. That makes sense. Uh, deal X where X equals your block. I don't think I'm I'm going for a shield purge. I'm going to take the shards on that one. Uh, the Butcher's Death. You did it. Yogger is no more. With the Butcher dead, the remaining bandits flee, and the uh, Silenthia Forest will be uh, a little safer. Now you can check the camp for gold and other valuable items. Claim your prize. Uh, golden shards were scattered throughout the camp, and you found a large chest where the bandits kept all the things they looted. We got one town upgrade, some some of those thingies. Uh, are these just score points? Is that what this indicator is? I'm curious. Whoa. Okay. So, looks like we're getting some really cool stuff here. The Brigand Armor, plus 10 max HP, all resistances plus 12 plus speed, seems really good. Melee damage is harder for us to utilize, unfortunately. The Morning Star potentially can go here. This improves our melee damage. What, wait, what is the, what is the hammer? Because the sword is is sharp damage. This is blunt damage. Okay, so blunt damage doesn't work here. So wolf skin, uh, shuffle a howl into your deck. Wow, there's so many things here. Plus 10% discount on the magical forge. I think, I think the, the brigand armor goes here. Then... I don't know what Howl does, and it doesn't show me. We could all, like, we could, this would make our melee attacks do better, which includes Rupture, right? Yes, yeah, so like, Rupture is, no, Rupture is range damage too. Okay, so we want to stick with range damage there. So let's see, you, you get a something here. You get either this or the Scholar's Robe. I'll go with the Wolf Skin, I think. Or I could get this, but I think I'll get this. 
then you could take the crystal ball. That's not good. You could replace your slingshot with the merchant badge. I think I will do that. And then you currently have leather armor. We could, I think we give you more resistance, do we? Or what's this? Plus one to curse damage. Scholar's robes versus this. Are we more worried about getting stabbed or are we more worried about getting zapped? Or do I take 75 gold? Maybe I take 75 gold. Because I'm not, I'm, I don't have enough knowledge to know if either of those are any good. Now there is something back behind this. We have a character event that we can potentially skip. I guess we'll go do the character event. Yager's Diary. You explore the forest behind the camp and near a tree you find an old diary. After a quick glance, you realize that it is Yager's Diary. The diary talks about when Yager was young and everything that happened to him in the Wolf Wars. Do you want to read it? Uh, you need to own the DLC. No, we're good. We will leave. Got it. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like we have a boss, and our HP is not great. So this may uh, this may go poorly for our first run. I'm going to say that that says Elmer's Awakening. And the obelisk is in sight, but something very dangerous is blocking the way. Elmer. Yelmer. Something. An old treant, one known, once known as the protector of the Senthia Forest, has awakened and been tainted by the energy emanating from the now active obelisk. Besides Elmer, uh, there is a uh, Trunky and a Dryad protecting him. You, can see, you can't see any way to avoid the confrontation, but maybe you can make the fight easier or worse depending on how you approach him. This challenge will be difficult, so what do you do? So, we can rest which is an 85% chance of a 40% heal. We might need that. Uh, ambush, 32% of the time, uh, but we start with stealth or engage him. We need to go for the heal, I think. I hope we get it. Amazing. Okay, at least we're going to have some hit points going into this fight. And it does look like those are score points. Okay, this seems this seems scary. So we're going to do bark skin for self and sprout for self. So he's going to do like a bunch of healing. Overgrowth and moonfire. Pound, which should be front enemy and middle hero. We have two middle heroes. That's interesting. Slowest monster and moonfire. Okay. So we're not taking a huge beating on the front, but I also don't know everything that's going to happen right now. So I think I'm going to... I'm gonna get the rend going, and just because you're a little squishy, I'll do that. And then I am gonna save here. Well, first round. Nah, I'm gonna save. I think I think 14 is enough. We'll keep Curse of Agony. We'll keep Unstable Power. I'll let. That and that go. We have we have a good chance to do some damage here. I feel like this caster is potentially the danger zone. Okay, that's fine. Now this guy's doing four things, which is a little spicy. He's buffing a lot, too. Okay, we will do that. I think we get this ticking on him, just because this is a lot of aggregate damage. Things are happening. Healing Rain seems good. The wet doesn't really do anything because our hero is so slow, but... Okay, and, and getting rid of one, I think, is good, good for business. Now, you're going to do 
three to a middle hero, six to a front hero. I think we just do this so that we hopefully mitigate. Okay, it hits both the middle heroes. Interesting. Okay. Now, is this guy just going to constantly keep healing? Front hero, this guy's going to hit for 17. Noted. So, sharpening knives. Sharp. Slashing and piercing damage plus one per charge. And this is adding six. This is adding six, which is a lot. Although it's adding it to slashing and piercing. Does this, does this count as piercing? Rupture is a melee attack. I'm not sure. We'll definitely do this so we can cast all the things. Now, do you have like a thorns type of thing? You do have a thorns type of thing. So let's... uh. Let's just try and get some damage in here. We need a big uh, we need a big turn for Magnus defense wise. It looks like with five, I think we do something like that. I think we go full bore. Sharp just doesn't affect blunt. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling relatively good about the way that that went, honestly. Uh, that doesn't do much. So we could spend two frost. We don't have two frost. Well, we do with mana gem. So two frost bolts to get rid of this guy, I think, is worth it. I think we need to get we need to get this into a like one on one, quote unquote. Uh, this is free. So let me start out with that. And then... Okay. So, we're, we're doing... We're doing stuff. Howl. I mean, why not? Not the person you expect to see howling, but that's okay. Uh, foresight is free. So, we'll do that. And then you have three left. So, maybe... He's vulnerable right now. So, let's get... Let's get the Mind Blast. We'll get to see all the things that he's doing, which hopefully will help. Oh, I was expecting we were going to have more sight than that. Okay, so at the moment, he's got a lot of power, but he's not... We don't have to worry about it. We're a little worried about Bark Skin. We're going to have to take, like, next round off, it looks like. Let's play Deflect first. Let's play that. And then we're done. Okay, that was short. Short turn. Short turn. All right, let's see. And then this could be an attack. Really lacking defense here. Now, now is the time for us to do some damage, though. I guess. So this guy's bleed immune. So this was a bad card to keep. I'm gonna save my save my energy there. Hmm. We can just shadow bolt and fire blast, and then we could even defend ourselves up a little bit. I guess that's probably the best we can do. I wouldn't mind some heals right now. I could dispel the chill on her, which would cause her to be moving faster. That was that we we dealt with that. Hey Zine, how's it going? So now we have thorns. Do we think that ranged attacks trigger thorns? Deal eight piercing damage to attacker when the target is hit by an enemy. Yes, we do. Okay. 
Yeah, it's got definitely got some Slay the Spire vibes for sure, Josh. Also, hey, how's it going? Uh, so I think I I think I stack this turn and wait for the thorns to go away. I'll play defensive abilities if they are offered up. I wonder, I want to see the order here. Does this... Oh yeah, I, I guess I couldn't see the order there for obvious reasons. Um, I think 17 is enough defense here. Uh, it went away last time, Stu. But maybe, maybe it won't this time. Like, last time it went away after one turn, but... Okay, everybody's got a little bit of defense now. Oh, he's summoning things again? That's frustrating. Oh, he, okay, he, he uses the thorns, so it does go away. There we go. That answers the question. Oh, these guys have three thorns. That's annoying. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go for damage here. While we have the opportunity. Save the rest. Hmm. Now let's see. You guys, are you bleed immune also? How do I know? Main stats. Immunities bleed. Okay, cool. Good to know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in even though I'm taking a bit of thorns damage. So Curse of Agony is going on on this jabroni. So this, what does this do? This We gain powerful 10%. I think it's worth it. We have five right now. Okay, so something like that, I think. We hit you with the heal. We hit you with the draw, cause why not? All right, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a beating here. Flower shuriken. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Hey, hey, hey! Settle down there, big boy. Okay, Moonbeam is an unpleasant attack. Let the record show. So five, I think, is going to be two aimed shots on this guy. I think I think we're in rushdown mode. Even though we're taking some thorns. We now know that we take the thorns damage kind of regardless. So... Hope that we hope that they attack with some front targets here, uh, or attack some front targets. Um, I don't think there's any way we're we're securing the kill here. Also, the thorns are a little dangerous. <laughs> Played it for 86 minutes and don't remember any of it, Burwell. That's uh, that's not that's not a, a high that's not high praise, I will say. Uh, let's see. So, do we even have enough to kill this little guy? I think we have to kill the little guy just to 
try to lessen our our problems. I I hope we draw enough here. Deal 10, it deals 11. That's not quite a kill. Deal 20, apply This is this would be our entire turn. But it definitely gets the kill. It's the it's really that or two flashes and then we don't get the heal anyways. So let's do this. Bloodshed, kill 20 monsters. Okay, this guy may may kill us here. We'll see. Okay. This is this is potentially this is potentially the kill turn. We just need to we need to go hard in the paint here. Uh Should have dropped Ripple on boss, chain for kill, bounce back to boss. Is that the way that it works? That's uh, that's very interesting. So let's see. I think we do... You have three. So we, we can defend into shield bash for 14 damage. I think that's probably the best we can do. I don't know if we... I don't know if we have 50 right now. 50 seems like a lot. To, to need to have. Do we have 19 on our on our final duder? I don't think so. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, that's not 19. We're one hit point off. Are you joking me? That's frustrating. He just applied one bomb to everyone. Can can you stop? Why did you get seven actions there? What's going on here? Okay, we did it. Wow, all right, we did it and we, we didn't die, which I still don't know what death looks like in this game. So that's an interesting question. Ballad of Evasion. I mean, doesn't seem like that's gonna be too bad. So we got we got immolate here that's dealing thirty. We suffer five. I, I I'm inclined to want that. Pummel seems interesting, but so does coat of arms. Based on my quest, I should choose the green zone. Noted. All right, I'm gonna grab coat of arms, ballad of evasion. We've kind of been going with a dark deck. Ooh, but we suffer a bunch with that one. Ray of Frost just does insane damage, but it's super expensive. I think I'll go with Immolate. That seems exciting. And then, what does Bomb do? Shackle, remove evasion from target. It's a weird icon for remove evasion, I feel like. Innervate, uh, three regen and one energy. Oh, Innervate seems insane. Ballad of Evasion requires stanza 11. What the heck is stanza 11? <laughs> I, I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> it looked so good. Stanza 11. Mind it. At the end of turn, gain one energize and three stanza, then remove two stanza. Does it require stanza two or two or or stanza eleven? I think those are Roman numeral. Okay, stanza two. So I do need a stanza enabler to make that happen. Uh, but it does look like everybody got a level up. So okay, so wolf guard uh, resistance plus ten percent gain one of those last four uses. 
per fight or four uses total? Follow up. Reduce the cost of the highest cost attack in your hand by three. Now, these level ups, are they per run or are these forever? Like, like, can I go back and switch these? Is this is this like a this saved game? He will forever be the wolf guard versus follow up? Wild hunt. Per run? Okay, cool. So maneuver. For every energy used, draw one, gain five and two. Last one use. Maneuver seems quite good. Mar it gain you gain mark when you play a card for every energy used, apply one mark to a random. Last one turn. I think Wild Hunt is pretty cool. Let's grab Wild Hunt. Then over here we have Enchant Weapons. Discover three enchantment and place one in... Discover three enchantments i assume is what it means and place one into your hand you also get a fiery weapon which is plus two fire damage transform all damage into fire uh, apply one last 12 uses or elemental proliferation plus two to all damage types apply two of those damage with each hit i like elemental uh proliferation here i think divine retribution uh Damage, I think we have to take damage in order to be able to use it. Or we have Focused Heal. I like Focused Heal. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go Wolf Guard here, I think. So this is the next attack. Reduce the cost of the highest cost attack in your hand uh, by three until discarded. That would mean basically like a free rupture for us right now. Whereas Wolf Guard is like a really good defend. We'll do that. We're gonna we're gonna need a heal. Hopefully we get one after the after the chapter. Looks like we're gonna get some loot as well. Something to said upgraded, 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 upgraded. Uh let's see. So first of all, do we have any paw items? No paw items. So we're just we could replace a Zul runestone with a Zul runestone. All heroes recover plus four HP. I think we give that to our healer. Plus eight max HP gain. F Ooh, okay. So this is going here for sure. I think he's getting the Yagasil robe. Shield of Thorns, when you play a defense card, gain two. This is also interesting, but I think this route is really nice for you. Cloak of Evasion, I think, is an upgrade here. Prevent one hit per charge. So basically, first charge doesn't happen. Is is okay, it's not great. And then I think War Banner... All heroes gain two powerful. Seems better than cooling servos. So we'll put that there. I keep getting that. Am I, uh, which one is, which one is, is, is this me right here? Hold on. Do we have a, a view? Like, is this me? Is, is it just because of the receding hairline? <laughs> is that what you're getting, Be Bezbub? <laughs> um... Let's see. Perks. Do we have, we don't have any perks to spend. Okay. So, I guess I guess we're done with that. And, and we want to go to the green region because of quests. So, I guess we go to the map transition. Uh the Senenth the Senenthia obelisk. You find yourself in front of the obelisk after centuries of inactivities it is now bursting with energy and the runes engraved in the stone glow brightly. As you read the runes aloud the wall of the obelisk warps and distorts creating several portals. The time has come to cross the obelisk. Where will you go? Okay, yeah. So green portal, we have two quests there. Blue portal. We're definitely going with this one. So let's do it. Full heal. Love to see it. You cross the portal, and before you realize it, you're already in another place. And with that, we enter Act 2.